So, if we want to actually do this properly, we need to use supply cards. Like I've been complaining about the whole time. Supply is a pile of nine separate cards. So here we can see we have scrying suit the light. So one, we have two, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine separate cards. Also the stop card that we can buy during our turn, they immediately go to the top of our discard pile. And then we can like, you know, draw into them later. So instead of having say crystal for one energy and like ancient emerald for one energy and a spark for one damage, we can get stuff like a scrying sugalite. It costs three to buy, but then you can play and get two like energies or aethers or whatever it is. And also you may reveal the top card of your deck and if it is a spell, it's worth a third uh, value point. Cobalt Clump costs four, you get two monies, whatever, but, and the next time you gain a card that costs five or more, silence a minion, which means it doesn't do its persist effect for a turn, at least I'm going to hope that that's what it means. And I do not resolve its persistent effect, but instead remove the power token, so you can just, you know, shut a minion up for a turn by silencing it. Aether Dust costs five, it's worth two, but then each ally also gains a uh, money token. Clutch of Mod costs three. Any player may focus one of their breaches. If that player has a prep spell that costs five or more, gain one charge. So that would be useful to get one of just to start focusing my breaches without having to like constantly pay for them. Chaos Charm. Two different players may destroy a card in hand. You may destroy this. If you do, remove a fire token from your location on the map. Oh, okay. So that's a way to end off with like no fire and a uh, grave hold. Now for some spells, grass blade. You may destroy this from your hand during an ally's main phase. If you do, draw a card. I don't have any allies that will have main phases. I guess I could destroy this myself to draw a card to replace it, but like whatever. Cast it deals two damage instead of just one. Hello, cinnamon. Fractured Lightning. Cast deal 5 damage. Reveal the top card of the Nemesis deck. If it's an attack or power, overheat this card. If this card is fully overheated, destroy it. And Rainbow Surge. Cast deal 5 damage. If this causes a minion to be discarded, boost this. Gain 1 life for each. So, hello, Simon. I Yeah, I see you. Hi. So overheat and boost are new mechanics. They weren't in the previous legacy game. So it seems like, yeah, literally just mark the card. Cinnamon, why must you lie down on my tablet? But anyway, with all of this in mind and a nice shuffle shuffle, so we do have a supply to go to because hey, what's a deck building game if we don't get the chance to, you know, build the deck. And with maybe enough D6s, but also probably not, we can at least try to go through with this. So let's go to turns. It is our turn first. We can put that in a breach and we can pay four. So we could buy the Fractured Lightning card of five damage and Five damage is awesome. Three damage is also good, but we can't afford the three damage thing. We could also just buy spell gain additional one. Cobalt clump. Next time you gain a card that costs five or more this turn, silence a minion. Or Aether Dust, which would I guess just be gain three. Can't get a Chaos Charm. That would be that would be useful to get eventually. Fractured Lightning of dealing five damage. Can just you know start destroying these things every turn uh, but i think i'd rather have the cascade so i think i'll also grab let's see fill the top card of your deck it's a spell gain additional one so no i want to silence a minion i want to use this to start silencing minions do that and then that and then one two three four five and then go to nemesis turn so this has one letter. This has a letter. Oh, wait. I forgot. I'm supposed to mill seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because we're playing with only one player, so we don't get to uh, face against these cards. 
Yep, the Fever Scribe. Immediately unleash. This minion suffers damage equal number of players in the game. Okay, so this is a small issue. So how far away can I make these so they still work? I mean, I can do it like this. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And put this in the... Put this in the spot where nobody can see what it is. It's because it's the rainbow surge. So that's logical, right? This thing has five hit points remaining. That doesn't have anything. I did the monster turn. Go to my turn. Deal one damage to... What do I even want to deal a damage to? I don't even know what I want to deal a damage to. Um, deal one damage to this thing? Prep this spell. Give myself two charges. End turn. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, I'm just assuming that was my turn next. Yeah, it was my turn next. Uh, it's my turn again. Deal one more damage to, let's go with this thing again. Self the position, oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cinnamon! One, two, three, four, five, six. And if I buy a card that costs five or more, I can silence a minion. So I'm going to spend all six of this. High cinnamon. Four or less for you to discard out of your hand. I'll buy Cascade. Boom. No cinnamon. Silence this minion. This is why all my fancy cards get bent. Nemesis turn. That gets a letter. This gets a letter. This gets a letter. This does nothing because it's silenced. And this. Unleash. Any player suffers two damage and discards a card in hand. Where are my cards? One, two, three, four, five. Discard a card. That card costs two or less, add a fire token. So, beep. Seriously, Sam, you go like all day and you like never want my attention. You like never want to play. And as soon as I as soon as I put some cards out and stuff, you know what? No. I don't say you can lie there, but that was before I put stuff down. Okay, fine, Sam, you can lie down way up there. I'm not even sure if you're even in the shot or anything. But, wait, do fire. No, two damage, and since the card I discarded was a cheap, cheap card, we get one fire. And that's it. And it goes to my turn, and I will prep the spell again. And I can, let's see, I could buy the Scrying Sugalite, which might actually be more useful than anything else. Yeah, buy the Sugalite. And do that, and then... Yeah, because it is my turn here. I keep forgetting that. But it's definitively my turn. And then... Yeah, the first couple of turns are like so much like set up. And if you don't deal with what the uh, enemy is doing while you're setting up, you can be put in a pretty bad state. So Spark... Uh, don't miss it. Oh! This has a shield. Destroy the shield. Boom. Grab that, and then... One, two, three, four. I will destroy this from your hand during any allies main phase if you do draw a card. So basically just cantrips itself. Um... I could start focusing that breach, and... Okay, okay. Focus this breach, get one charge, prep this spell, end the turn. One, two, three, four, five. Go to my turn again. Deal three damage, kill off this scribe. 
And then I'm going to return a card that costs four less to my discard pile to my hand, returning the Cobalt Clump. And I can deal one damage, and let's deal it to this here little Aether, so now it has two hit points remaining. I have to remember, that's how I'm doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, boom, revealed my top card. It is not a spell, it is a crystal. It's me. So I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Actually, I could, ah, because for seven I can get Rainbow Surge. This causes me to be a scarred boost that's gained one life for each boost mark on it. I think I want the Rainbow Surge more important than like any other individual thing. And then one, two, three, four, five. My turn again, but no spells to prep, so boom, boom, and then boom, so I can gain one life back up to nine. Notice how different this is being played already. Four, five, and I will, any ally gains two charges, boof. That's my entire turn. One, two, three, four, five. That is a lot of spells, Missy. Okay, fine. Nemesis turn. That has three letters. This has three letters. This has two letters. This has one letter. This flips a card. Coal Whelp. It has two shields. Unleash out of five to your location on the map. Oof. Okay, my turn. I'll deal one damage to one of its shields. And then... Unfortunately, I can't gain a card that costs five or more this turn because I only have... Okay, wait. Scry Suit Galite. Is my top card a spell? It is not. So I can't get can't get a card that costs five or more. But what I can do is pay for that and then pay four. So I could focus that breach. I could open that breach. Or I could focus it and get one. Okay, okay. Focus this breach. Get one charge. Put Cascade into that breach. Keep Spark in hand. And then one, two, three, four, five. Exactly. Go to Nemesis turn. This goes up to four. That goes up to four. This goes up to three. This goes up to two. Unleash and add a fire token. And this has a shield. Eh, the one is definitely upside down in relation to where the one normally is on dice. I'm going to say that. Unleash again. This also has a shield, and I am out of dice. Any player receives two damage. I am the any player. Eh. So. Uh, result of persistent effect of an unnamed in play twice. So that would make that go off, make that go off, make that go off. So I could just take one of these two and just finish it off. Fire or Earth. I'll take the fire one. So the fire one is going to finish off. And I'm going to take fire card and I'm going to put it Right here. Alongside with the water card. Cool. And then... So I need to start casting my spells, go on my next turn though, I can kill off two minions. Start out, this cost a minion to be discarded, boost this, gain one life for each boost mark on this. I could see this being fun and like playing like with friends and stuff, just like sign your initials on the boost mark, just like, heck yeah, you gave me a life on that, thanks to me. Shoot! Nemesis turn. So this goes up to five. This ults. This goes up to three. This unleashes. That goes up to one. That goes up to one. 
that unleashes the pain. And we added some more fire to our position on the map. And... Okay, remember, neither of these are here. The players discard the three most expensive prep spells, or Grayfold suffers by... I'm going to just keep doing this one mission over and over and over again. So yeah, Grayfold suffers the five. Twenty-five. Because that card, as it turns out, is going to actually go into all future things, but I can't afford to just lose all of my spells. Because unfortunately, this is on a turn when I actually do have spells. But now it's my turn. So, deal five damage. I think I have to do it left to right, so... Oh wait, didn't I just lose one? I lost... Cinnamon! Oh wait, I lost... Alright. Alright. I love you too, Cinnamon. Deal 5 damage. If this costs a minion to be discarded, boost this. And then gain 1 life for each boost mark on this. So, boosted. Uh, wish I could kill the coal wealth, but no, I'm going to kill... That's close. This is supposed to have a shield, but I'm out of dice. Kill the light who had three. Light had three. And then Cascade is going to destroy, I guess. Let's destroy the pain who has zero. And then may turn a card that costs four or less for your discard pile to your hand. So let's just let's regain the cobalt clump. I guess prep this. Unleash and out of fire. Oof. I guess I can 1, 2, 3, 4 and get this to gain 2 charges and. Wait, don't I gain a life? Yeah, that's right, that's right. I gain a life. I'm at 8 now. Uh, you and any ally just. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can cast my prep spell for three damage, which means I could kill the Aether and get the two charges and then get another charge again. And then next turn I won't have any spells at the ready. Um, yeah, I think I don't necessarily want to do that right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I have one nemesis in here, so there's only one nemesis in these next four turns. I will one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, any player may focus one of their breaches. That player has a prep spell that costs five or more. Gain one charge. So boom. So I can start focusing my breaches like over and over again. And then I guess pay my other three for Oh, no, no, because I need to buy one card that costs five or more. I'm going to buy the Chaos Charm. And I will silence the Coal Wealth so I can take my time in destroying it. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's probably fine. Go to turn, destroy the shield on the Coal Wealth. Done. And then... Boof. And then... Prep to four, prep to five, gain one life, up to nine. Use all of these, boop, boom. So I'll gain my two charges, and do I just cast a prep spell? I know I just silenced the coal well, but do I just destroy it now? Or I could also just draw two cards. That might be more impactful at the moment. If I draw two cards and if I get a spell, I'm hooped. I think I'll not prep this spell yet. I'll draw my two cards. Okay, would you look at this? 
Let's use the scrying sugulite. Look at my top card. It is a spell, so that's worth three. Which means I can focus this for each. And I can go full boom. So this can destroy that easily, and this can knock off another shield. And I go to end. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the time when I want to start destroying the basic crystals in my hand, because they are less useful. Once I get a few more spells, I'll also want to start destroying sparks. My turn again. Remember, the skull bulb is still silenced. So I'll deal one damage to... Let's go to the shade. And I'll deal five damage to the shade. I'm basically letting the aether go. But... Since that is destroying a minion, foam, foam, I'll gain two life for that. And go back up to 10. 10 out of 10. The shade is destroyed, but it had one, and light had three. And then. Play the Chaos Charm. Two different players. May destroy a card in hand. You may destroy this if you do move a fire token. I'm going to just destroy a little crystal here. And I'm going to pay three to keep focusing this breach and just put that to the open breach. Do this like this. One, two, three, four, five. Fortunately, I won't have a card that costs four less in my discard pile necessarily unless I'm forced to discard one. Nemesis turn, so which means that the Aether gets upgraded. Aether gets upgraded. Uh, oh, right. That's at three. Cobalt is now no longer silenced, and this goes up, and then this happens. The other lane. When this is discarded, banish this. So if you manage to make it to the end, and like, you don't kill the other lane, it will persist through other decks, I guess, because it is a basic, as long as you're not playing, like, what, one, two, one, two, three player. So then, like, blah, 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 but then, my turn. So I can deal three damage to a thing. Now I'll deal three damage to the Coal Whelp and kill that. And this is a basic, like, level one somehow. Foam, 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 foam. Let's use the Scrying Sugalite for two and see what's on top. It is not a spell, so one, two, three, four, five, and I can prep this. Actually, one, two, three, two, open this, and then four, five, two, get that. One, two, three, four, five. I really want to start destroying spells in hand. Or uh, crystals, I mean. Okay. Why do I destroy that solar? I'm doing okay for now, although I really don't like that other thing. I would really like to be able to silence it, but I can't really. If I can take two turns, I can at least deal five, six, seven, eight, nine damage to it. If I had, like, one more worth of uh, monetaries in hand that I could do a bit more stuff to it. Okay, my turn. Let's hurt that thing for two. So it's taking two damage and is sitting pretty at eight hit points. Hello, Cinnamon! I, yes, I know. I'm talking a lot, aren't I? I may need to be discarded, boost this, and gain one life reach, boost mark on this, but I don't have to boost it anymore. I'm just gaining two. Uh, six and then seven. So I'll pay and upgrade this. And that's going to be this turn. One, two, three, four, five. Done. And if it's my turn again, I got this. It is. So six and seven total damage. Well, actually, I could also just annihilate this. Uh, cause what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'd have to... Okay, wait, wait. If I had prepped it like this, deal two damage to... 
that one. No, I don't do damage to that one, then I'd deal with that. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. But also, to, you know what? No, kill this. Give me the shield and then attack it and get my two life, even though I'm at full health. I'm at full health. And I can. Okay. Let's use the scrying super light. See what's on top. Just an ancient emerald. Fill the top up of a. Prepare that, use the Chaos Charm to destroy a card in hand, destroying that crystal, using the two from that thing to go up to five, using the Refined Prototype to gain myself two charges, and no, not, no, don't need to destroy something, okay. Drawing two cards. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and return a card that costs four less when you discard power to your hand, returning that card. So dealing one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Boom. Leaving that at two health, and then I put a spark right here. So if I do take, so on my next turn I take, I'll be good, good, good to go. One, two, three, four. I could buy a card, but I think I'm okay right now. Don't really want to buy a card at four. The fives look really juicy, so I'll get two more charges. And I think I want to put that at the bottom, that, and that, and that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait. They'll stay there. And then, Nemesis turns. So. Unleash, and any player suffers one. So I'll take the one. I'll be good. I'll be good about this. I'll, I'll take the one for the rest of my party. And then this. To discard, discard four cards in hand. Power one. Unleash twice. Grateful suffers three. And then you banish this. So. Go to my turn, right? Because, no, not necessarily. One of these is a nemesis. But I am going to my turn, and I'm going to deal one damage to that, to when this got to banish it. So all that's left is that little thing out, and this little thing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard, discard four cards in hand. I think I have to worry about that sooner rather than later. Let's put the spark up here. Pay two to go up to five. Um, wait a second. I can totally destroy these two cards. Because I don't necessarily need the life from the ancient thing. I'll definitely get my two charges. I'll definitely destroy two cards. I also don't necessarily... Oh, no, no. I will draw two cards and not cast a spell. Yes. Yes. Yes, draw two cards. Drawing those two cards. Now, if I do go next, I'll be doing really well here. So I can like open up this breach and I can put both of these in. And then, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Pay two to open up this breach, put both of these cards in, a five and a seven. Actually, I. Actually, a three and a five. Want both of those. Put and turn, put all those in discard. One, two, three, four, five. Getting to the point where I won't really be able to return stuff. And my turn! Yes! So, deal three damage. So, I think that when it comes to these, you have to do them in order, but I also think you might be able to just hold them in the breaches. Uh, it hasn't really been an issue yet, so turns. 
I was like, ah, me be cast in space. Every spell prepped in a color speech, a spell that was prepped in focus speech or patron, must be cast. You choose the order in which you cast spells. Okay, so I could hold all of these up as much as I want, but I will cast this one first to get rid of that shield. I cast this one. I return a card that costs four less than you discard power to your hand. Return that card to hand. Kill off this minion, which had zero letters on it. And then pay five and gain two life, so I'm back up to ten. And the bishop is seeking solid five immediately. It's down to 45. And then I will... I destroy a card in hand. I guess I'll play that. I'll destroy this crystal. Because I think I still have a few more cards that I want to remove, like these sparks. But for now, I'll just discard them. Yeah, destroy the crystal. This Actually, I could just discard, like, one, two, three, four, and then, like, play one of these for two and, like, do whatever. But no, do it like that. That, destroy the crystal. One, two, three, four, to remove this, banish this card. And now they have nothing on the board to do stuff with, so one, two, three, four, five. Now it's Nemesis' turn. All they have is to flip a card. Grateful suffers four damage. Grateful goes down to 21 health. So two or more I need to play resolve the blah blah blah, otherwise unleash twice. So let's unleash twice. So remember, lights at three. Lights at three, shade and solar are at one. Lights at three, shade and solar are both only at one. The whole idea that like, even if you kill them, like the numbers are still gonna go up is quite the thing. So first off, Knowing that I can do the page counters thing seriously helped. Uh, knowing that I actually do get a supply makes all the difference in the world. Like, I think it could be possible to beat this with a supply, but you'd have to get lucky and know exactly what you're doing. And, like, you'd really have to get lucky. Fighting it with the supply, though, you'd have to get really unlucky to lose, right? Right? Crush is still at zero, so unleash. But wait, it says unleash twice. Shades at one. And it has a shield. So yeah, soul is at one and something else is at three. I forget which. It's one of these. Uh, but that is Nemesis turn. Okay. The issue really is that at any given point, like effect more or less, you just flip it and the nemesis can just take like multiple turns in a row. If it was like the nemesis gets every third turn period then that would be like a lot easier to build around. But like, I could flip it and it could be Nemesis Nemesis, like immediately. And it's like, okay, well, yeah, see, right there. The Nemesis takes multiple turns in a row. It's a lot more difficult to work around because you don't get the chance to like do stuff about things. Immediately, this minion loses a shield token for each player in the game. Bonk, persistent, any player who suffers two damage can add a fire token. Nemesis again. So I'm taking four turns in a row, but Nemesis is going. So add a fire token. So we're at four fire again. And I'll take two down to eight. And then this flips a card. To discard, spend seven monies, which I might actually be able to do. Power two, though. Unleash twice. If there are three or less fire tokens, any location on the map, add a fire token, otherwise unleash. So, okay. But now I'm taking four turns, so I can probably deal with all of this, like, immediately. So, I can't spend seven. I can only, at most, spend three. So let's go prep, prep, buy one charge. Let that be that. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Flip. It's my turn again. Let's see here. This has three shields. That's very annoying. This is also supposed to have a shield. So I guess most I can do is kill this shield, kill the shade. 
And then I will return this card back because that's the only thing that is like that there. And then I can also prep, prep, or prep, prep, whatever. Prep, prep, cheerio with buckets on top and whatever. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, do I want to destroy that though? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Use the Chaos Charm, destroy the Chaos Charm, and then pay five to buy a new Chaos Charm, silencing that. Also, I, since I destroyed this, I removed a, I can remove a fire token from my spawn on the map. So that's only three. Not quite as bad. Also, this is silence for a turn. Foam, foam, foam. Actually. Yeah, sure. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, look, it's my turn again. Just to remember that thing does have some shield. Destroy a shield on each of them. Down to two shields and remove that shield. And then, boom, boom. Somebody. And then, yeah, destroy the Chaos Charm, remove another fire in this location, down to two, fire charge, up to four. One, two, three, four, five. Go to my next turn, next, 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 next turn, uh, deal some damage to this, to kill it. Pressure's at two. That's supposed to be over there. I think I want to keep that five, six, like just kind of sitting there. Remember, this is silenced. I guess I could also just flat out cast it. One, two, three, four, five. My top card is not a spell still. By the Chaos Charm, do that. Actually, yeah, no, so on my next turn I can do brr, brr, and then six damage to the face right there. So, I guess silence it twice now. One, two, three, four, five. And I guess I might as well start pulling out the things, the pop, the pop outs. Where are the silence markers? Here's the silence markers. So this thing is silenced twice. Boom, boom. This is my hand. Oh, that's right. I still never spent the seven. If I still never like had the seven to spend, so it could be monster to turn twice in a row. I was just used to expecting this thing to just happen. The game the spell that dealt five has been really nice. Oh, also, I'm at full health. I cast. Then I cast this at least once during those four turns. Oh, I should be at full. It's like, yeah, it's possible for the Nemesis to take up to four turns in a row, but it's also possible for players to take eight turns in a row. My turn for the fifth turn in a row. Destroy shield, destroy shield. I'm actually going to deal six to the Nemesis' uh, face. Actually, yeah, because even if the Nemesis takes two turns in a row, that won't do anything. I could just deal 6 to that though and leave it sitting at 2 and just like, so anything could destroy it. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll deal 6 to that. Leave that sitting at 2. And then, prep this spell. Use Flying Sugalite. Not a spell on top. So that'd be two, and let's go for fill this thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can bring one of these back, or I could destroy two of my hand cards. I can destroy these two crystals, I guess. Uh, okay, here. I'll get my two charges. 
I'll draw my two cards and may destroy up to two cards. Boom, boom. I'll destroy these two crystals. And that is that. And then let's go Chaos Charm. Destroy that. Cobalt Clump. Go up to three. And then put that like... Actually, wait a second. My only monies for it are now four. Shoot, do I really want to do that? Or I could get... Maybe for another one that. My money count is four, so I can buy more Chaos Clumps, like Cobalt Clumps, I guess. Yeah, do that, I suppose. Four. One, two, three, four, five. So I know what's next, but it's not a spell. Now it's his turn. That was silenced. This goes down to one, because I, I can't silence this. Any player may discard three cards in hand and suffers two damage. Or any player does discard three cards in hand and suffers two. And then banish this. So one. Actually, two and then three. And I'll suffer my two damage. Eight. Because this is a basic, if you manage to like not get to that, then like, oh well. Nemesis turn again. This is still silenced, but this happens. Unleash twice. There, are, there should be three less fires, but yeah, there's only two. At least twice, make a fire. So Solar was at one. And it has a shield. And then Pain... Something was at three, I think. Yeah, it was Light that was at three. Pain was at nothing. And then, again, I'm taking three turns in a row. I know this for a fact. So deal one, two, three, four four damage, so I'm going to, I'm going to kill off, I, uh, yeah, fine, kill off the pain, four, and I get to return a card, I'll return this card, do I return that card, so my hand will be three spells, yes, yes I will, prep spell, prep spell, prep spell, end turn, one, Two, three, four. I don't even have enough cards. My turn again. So. I think, yeah. Destroy this thing. Boom. With uh, that. And then spark and spark. No, no. Destroy that with the two sparks. And deal six to monster's face. Down to 39. And then, let's go, okay, I guess Chaos Charm, remove Chaos Charm. Those two, do you get that? I could also draw two cards. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Foam. And if I do that, I get a spark back, but that's whatever, right? Okay, wait, wait, Yeah, use these two to buy a cobalt clump. Uh, yeah, no, gotta do it like that. And then use the Chaos Charm to sacrifice the Chaos Charm. So the only things I have in my hand that don't particular... Actually, wait, no. Don't buy... Thinking, don't buy the Cobalt Clump, just buy two Grass Blades, and then start working towards getting rid of the Sparks. You destroy this from your hand during any allies main phase to draw a card. Cast deal two damage. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Don't buy the Cobalt Clump, buy two Grass Blades. One, two, three, four, five. So I... Yeah, and I'll be able to get one of these back. Go to end. Get five spells to hand, and boom. My turn. Okay, one, two, three, four to the face. Down to 35. And get to return 
Okay, it says four or less, so let's... There's nothing on top, right? Basically. Unfortunately, this is not enough to try to open up this breach, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get a scrying super... No, three still wouldn't be enough to even try, but could be enough for a scrying super light. Okay, prep that there. Prep... Actually, I'll prep this here, prep one of this here, prep one of this here... What am I doing to draw two cards? I was doing this to draw a card, but then that still wouldn't be good enough, right? I could do... Actually, wait, wait, wait. Don't get that. Get the Cobalt. Destroy this from hand to draw a new card. So I'd have to get this. Scrying Sugalite will show that it's not the card that I want, but I can then pay four to focus this breach to put a spark in it. And then I can go one, two, three, four again. And then my turn. Okay, awesome. That spark is going to knock off that shield. This grass blade is going to kill off the solar. And then deal six damage to the body space. Down to 29. Doing so much better this time. I'm still only in the twos, and this thing is, like, half dead. Prep that. Okay, don't have sparks in hand at the moment, but if I draw a card, I'll get one. I could buy a cobalt clump, or I could do this and get some stuff. Could focus a breach. You know what? I think... Pay that four, do this. So gain two charges, draw two cards, which would be specifically, actually, strictly speaking, I could have done those two first and then these two, or yeah, that to face, that to thing, that to thing, that to face. I could have, I think that would be like the best order I could have done those in. Draw two cards and then destroy a card in hand or discard pile. I could destroy my two sparks. I should destroy my two sparks and draw two cards and gain two charges. I will do this. So first I'll destroy these two sparks, then I'll draw two cards, Rainbow Surge and Grass Blade into my hand, and I'll gain two charges so I'm still keeping up with the Robinsons. I can do this and this. And then Chaos Charm. to reduce the fires down to two. We are doing a lot of good for the city. And then I draw these two cards back. <laughs> My turn, okay. Five, actually, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, but return this card back to my hand. Deal 11 damage to the Bishop of Squalls. Bring it down to 18. Prep the Grass Blade again. Honestly, I kind of just want to get two more Grass Blades because then my hand will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I can just keep prepping three, or two or three spells a turn. So yeah, let's just grab two more of these Grass Blades. Yeah, you could buy, pay two for a grass blade or pay four for a fractured lightning to deal five, but you can actually overheat, and when it's fully overheated, destroy it. And the nemesis unleashes, which would be annoying, but at this point, I don't know if the nemesis is going to get close to unleashing. I mean, like, if an unleash happens, if it would actually realize itself. Although, if I do get something with four, then I can utilize this again, but whatever. Do this, get this, go to my turn now, okay. 
Attack for three. Bring it down to 15. See how useful this is? I, I know I can play this game. Uh, bonk, bonk, bonk. And I can pay four for something. Pay four for more cobalt clumps. So I can start buying more bigger things. Or pay four for this, actually. Pay four for this. No, no, no. Pay four for the cobalt clump. Because then... Every turn or every other turn, I can pay for that all the way. So, Nemesis turn? No! Okay, so five, six. Okay, so six and then eleven total damage. Actually, down to four and then three, two, one. Oh, God, one away. <laughs> So it'll be going down to one, but I do have to reveal the top part of the Nemesis deck if it's an attack or a power. It is a power. Overheat this card, and when it's fully overheated, destroy it, and the Nemesis unleashes. But the Nemesis is literally down to one. <laughs> Nemesis is down to one. And then when I cast this, turn a card that costs four or less, discard back to hand. I can just prep both of these. Two charges, three charges, four charges, five charges. Not that, but say cast a prep spell, cast grass blade, kill the nemesis. Done! So now that I know how to actually play the, the game, this is so much easier. And so like all of these are like close, but not that close. And we only have four in here so far. Gravehold suffers three, any player suffers two, Gravehold suffers three, or oh, I unleash and this gets a shield token, which you'll be hard pressed to not have the water. I su have the original one, I suppose, right? Because that is basically guaranteed to uh, happen. Or another minion in play gains two life and any player suffers one damage. Oh gosh, but yeah, unleashing is annoying, and then I th think between all of these. Shade was probably the closest, so. One, two, three, four. Right, the shade was two away and others were like multiple away, so let's grab the shade. But as it stands, all the rest of these should be no more. Uh, the shade should also not be that. It should be this version of shade. Any player suffers three damage, but it only has 10. It only has 10 health. We can put these into Oracle 15 and hope that I don't have to do this scenario again. Like, again, 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 again. For the fourth time. Now that I know how to actually play, this should be fine. Hey. Also, yeah, let's... Grab the best of this here deck, and so these were never used. So these should be in one of these decks over here, this E deck. See, I never actually utilized all of these that are like gone. Basically, you take out all the level two basics and leave in all the rest of the stuff. So. Basic, that's out, that's a basic, basic, that's out, basic, that's out, basic, get rid of the level 2 basics, and that's also out, level 2 card, basic, basic, 2, watch it, that's a basic, this is an upgrade basic, That's a bishop, that's a bishop, that's a basic, that's a bishop, that's a basic, that's a basic, that's a basic, 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 basic. And I combine with all of these other upgraded basics. Silence tokens for the win, y'all. So the actual only number of fires was two, and I won, as opposed to four fires and lost.
passage read at the end of the fight. I won pass. I can beat passage E, I guess. Because I won. Also, wasn't there a thing for page like 33 in here somewhere? Like, um, hey, there was uh, a bit of errors and stuff. Let's use our main mechanic of adding new rules to the game to add a new rule to the game. I wonder if there's a whole thing about that. That, like, it says to, like, grab stickers from a certain section. Alright, so, foam, foam stuff at the bottom. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's fix up all of these other cards as well. So that's this, this paths. Well, the pathway to exiles. That's that deck. This is all cards that got taken out. And again, I really hope I don't have to do this again because that will suck. Grass blade out. One, two, three, four to that. Cast charm, one, two, three, four, there. And then there, and then back to the bottom, and then grass blade, and this is a trash. This, and then this. And grab the dice. I like having a bit of the table that's like just mine. You can't see what I'm doing down here so much, and then it's just like, brr. So I have a good, like, I don't know six or seven inches of table that's like just me so it's like yeah you can't see what i'm doing on there so i can have like all my dice and stuff be on the table but no one can uh no one can really tell right Oh gosh, that's a big. Oh gosh, section 76 is massive. Enough! The masked woman grabs the nearest void creature by the vicious, vis viscous scruff of its neck and drags it backwards. Enough! She repeats again, staring down each of the mages. In spite of the fierce battle, she doesn't even appear winded, although it's difficult to tell through the heavy covering obscuring her face. You're stronger than I anticipated. I'll give you that. Clearly, this isn't going to be enough to properly challenge you. Who are you? Malister demands, stepping forward. Are you a mage? Are you one of us? One of you? The woman shakes her head and laughs. What a backwards question. When I am done, all will be united. Well, that sounds terrifying. With a loud crack, the masked figure snaps her book shut and leaps back into the void portal alongside her menagerie of monsters. Before the mages can react, the rift narrows to a single point and then winks out of existence. It's got all the fire tokens. Read section 74. So it's like, blah, 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 what happened here? Blah, 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 bash all the tier two basic cards of the nemesis deck. Set aside their meaning, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully I did this all properly. Should have followed the rules about the end of the game on the nemesis mat, then banish the nemesis mat. So, yeah, I think I put all those cards into there. There are five or more fire tokens, banish whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, wait. We're at GH-1C. I know I put that deck somewhere. GH-1C, is it this deck? No, this is the monster deck. GH-1C. Boom! And all the upgraded basic Nemesis cards to the Nemesis cards you have set aside, you'll always use as many of the upgraded Nemesis cards as possible when building the Nemesis deck moving forward. And then, uh, add any remaining cards from the deck to your Grayfold Barracks along with his supply cards from game one. Boom, supply cards. So now for three you can buy the Sunken Onyx, which is game two, but you may discard this after any ally focuses a breach. If you do, they focus that breach again. So for like late game stuff, you can like say pay for, focus a breach, 
discard this to effectively pay two to focus it again. It's like, whatever, right? Uh, Quicksilver Bolt. You may prep this spell to one of your opened breaches during any ally's main phase. And then, when you prep this during your main phase, boost it. Uh, cast deal 3 damage, but if it's fully damaged, it deals an additional damage. It's fully boosted. So this is either deal 3 damage, or the second plus time that you that I prep this, it'll be 4 damage, which is decent, right? Because I have a cost 5, deal 3, but that also can return a thing. Echo Rune! Any player gains a charge. I want this. You may discard this during any ally's main phase. If you do, they gain 1. Again, I'm my own ally, because I'm in single player, so this is basically a two-cost gem two-cost crystal. And it flat out discards, so that's useful. Or I can just gain a charge. If I get a couple of these, boom, 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 I can just keep gaining charges constantly. Of course, any player gains one charge. It's not as good as just getting a Sugalite or a Cobalt Clump. Cause I because those can just flat out be used for two, and I can just get a charge anyway. So, not as good as basic gemstones, honestly. And then, we get to keep the Volcanic Shrapnel. Wait, 27, 27, yep. Yeah. 8 cost, deal 1 damage, deal 1 damage, deal 1 damage. So this can get through shields super well. You may turn to add up to 2 cards from your discard pile that cost 0. Effects that modify damage affect all instances of damage this spell deals. So, put in a plus 1 breach and it's deal 2, deal 2, deal 2. Either way, this is really, really, really good for getting through heavy shields. So, my supply. I'm going to keep that stock card in front of it. And we also opened up these, but there's no telling what these are specifically for yet. But I'm sure we'll find out very soon. So I do want to add this to the pile. I think maybe over the Fractured Lightning, because Fractured Lightning, yeah, it's four for deal five, but then like, if you screw up three times, they get a free unleash and you lose your spell. It is a lot of extra damage. Grass Blade's just a basically slightly better whatever. Honestly, might just get rid of Grass Blade. I think I'll just get rid of Grass Blade. Grass Blade is cute and all, also could get rid of Rainbow Surge, because that's 5 damage, but that's also, like, healing. Like, every time you use it, it's healing. <laughs> so you have to start off, get a couple of gems, try to get the 5 gem, get enough to get a Volcanic Shrapnel if we might be dealing with whatever, because both of these deal 6 damage if put in a plus 1 boost thing. Uh, find Sticker Sheet 1, Section 2. I found stickers! Okay, Sticker Sheet 1, Section 2, Rulebook. And Sticker Rulebook stickers A, B, C, and D into the rulebook, experience and enhancements. Beginning of each game, you will be able to spend experience to gain enhancements. Oh! At Sticker Sheet 1, Section 1, and all the starting enhancements to your Gravehold Barracks. Do not spend your experience yet. Read Section 6. This game has experience now. So, enhancement stickers. So, we can start pumping up on stuff. I'm taking, it's like, yeah, it might seem kind of cheap that it's like, oh, you just played until you won, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, I replayed because I realized that I was missing, in, like, vital and crucial information. Again, originally on Zen Legacy, there was, like, apparently no penalty for failing. So you could just fail every single mission and you'd still get all of the same stuff. You'd get a little bit different, like, plot, like, lore, like, people talking stuff. But basically everything would be, like, the exact same. For this, like, no, you have too many, like, if you get too many fires, you don't get as much experience. No, wait. Let's say, yeah, if you get too many fires, first of all, unless you keep the fire count really down, you don't get as many uh, stickers. You don't get as much experience. Um, my brain is on stickers right now. If you get uh, too much fire, you don't get a couple of future cards. Like, you don't get Volcanic Shrapnel if they all get spurned away. So you actually do 
get penalized later. But this is kind of a, you know, a rolling thing. Like, you don't get the good cards, which means you do worse in the future games, and you're already, like, poor and not bad at the game. So you keep doing worse and worse and worse, and you don't get the experience, you don't get the good cards, you don't get the good abilities. You just keep doing worse and worse and worse, and there'd be, like, no hope of, like, you know, winning at the end. Da-da-da! Your book will tell you how much experience you gain after each game. It will also tell you when you can spend experience to gain enhancements. You can choose to save experience later by storing in your barracks between games. Experience is used to gain enhancements. Uh, enhancements make the players stronger for future games. Each enhancement has experience cards shown next to it on the sticker sheet. Players may choose to spend their experience help after they want an available enhancement stickers. Players are allowed to place enhancement stickers over other enhancement stickers, but they no longer have access to the artifacts. There are five types of enhancements. Breach, personal, relationship, and blah, 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 blah. Shift six got be moved to another mage. Starter card and general. Okay, interesting. And that is the stickers that we get. And then read section six. Four, three, and then four, and then six. Ooh. 